Love Actually, which is just a wonderful film. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, that must have been, I would have thought, uh, a fabulous experience to be working with Richard Curtis mm. to, and to be in something yeah. like that. How, how was that for you? What are your memories of that? Well, it's lovely. Uh, um, Richard Curtis, as you know, probably, is a very charming... Uh, man and a good flatterer and he wrote everyone in the cast uh, a nice letter yeah. saying I'm you know your biggest fan and, and that, that the office was on at that time and the office was you know a popular show at the time yeah and uh, and he was a fan and he said I'd like to come and be in this film and but and it requires you being naked a lot uh, it's not an easy thing to get naked in front of you know 80 people you know eating bagels or whatever yeah. you know. <laughs> And so how do you prepare them for that? Because as a man mm. as well, mm -hmm. if you're naked, there's a certain thing that you're, mm -hmm. you're thinking, how impressive am I mm -hmm. as an actor? As an actor. <laughs> standing naked before my peers. <laughs> it's not pierced. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, <clears throat> you have a kind of... You have a thing called... Um, no, well, it's not called a merkin. A merkin is a fake pubic hair, but you have, a, you have a thing... I've done a few naked things in my time. And after a while, I stopped using what they give you because um, they give you a sort of discreet pouch, you know, they sock. give you, yeah, like a sock sort of thing. So made of basically um, tights material, you know, ladies' tights material with a kind of uh, drawstring. It's like a medieval purse. Like a, like a, like a coin purse? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But not for coins. From 1503. Wow. And, yeah, and so, and, but you do put your jewels in it. Thank you. <laughs> 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 nice work. Nice work. Um, but you put it, and you put it round what you have and, uh, and you sort of tie it together. But over the course of the uh, shooting, mm -hmm. not that kind of shooting. <laughs> 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 Over the course of shooting, mm -hmm. it starts to fall off. Wow. So, uh, I, after a while, after a few jobs of having a purse, I said to the woman in question, would you mind, if it doesn't offend, I'm just going to go with what God wow. gave me. Because, yeah. actually, you feel... It's so humiliating having this thing on. Mm -hmm. I think, well, I, if, if the woman is not offended, then I would rather yeah. just be naked. Just be naked? Yeah. One live, free. And, live and be free. OK, here you go. Now, this <laughs> is the big, exciting news uh, for fans of cinema, for fans of fantasy and so on and so forth. The Hobbit, the Battle of Five Armies, is finally with us. December the 12th, it's out all over the country. Mm. Uh, and this is the last time we get to see a new adventure. Yes. Certainly with these actors in this generation yes. in, in Middle Earth. Yes, it is, yeah. What yeah. a tremendous adventure for you to go on as well. Yeah, it was, it was amazing, yeah. It's a, kind of, it's a once in a lifetime thing, really. Um, and I will always be very glad and grateful for it, yeah. I made a f fantastic load of friends and uh, worked with, you know, one of the sort of most important directors of our time. Yeah. And uh, yes, it was a real pleasure to do. Uh, but what a remarkable, the scale of that kind of movie. Yeah. I can't imagine what that's like because. I, it's I a know. very ambitious film, oh, you know, and there aren't many people, I think, who can deal with that sort of scale, that epic nature of filmmaking, as well as Peter, but also bring you back to character and story, you know. I mean, it's not just a sort of Boise fight fest. It's, it always comes back to what character, how characters are seeing that violence and how it's affecting them. There's a lot of makeup involved, more for some of the characters than for you, but, of course, the feet are a fairly big part of that character. They are. I mean, th that's a, that's a two-person job. It was two lovely women... Uh, who would put that uh, pair of feet on me. It's like a sort of latex... It's almost like t tights, really, like stockings. They come midway up your thigh, wow. and it takes about eight minutes to put them on. It's quite an involved uh, process. Are the, legs, are the legs prepared in any way in advance? Well, you have to shave your legs. Yeah, so, yeah, it, so in order that your hairs don't get caught while they're, you know, jucking up, up this big um, stocking, you shave your legs, so, which I don't... It's not a good... It's not a good look. It's not a great look. Not a good look on a man. Did you ever stand there, just in the feet, mm. nothing else, and look <laughs> at yourself as a naked Bilbo? I did not, because there was, there was never the opportunity to do it, because I never took them home, and I wasn't going to do that at work. No. <laughs> no, I'll be honest with you, I find that really weird that you didn't do that. <laughs> Fair enough. Of course you would do that. Wouldn't you do that? Fair what play. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Haven't think... you done that? He, he does do that. He yeah, doesn't, no, I can yeah. Imagine I would do that. Do I that. think you're crazy for not doing it. Yeah, but I'm at work, Jonathan. And I, I, I mean, people are, you know, two lovely young women are putting on my stockings. I'm not going to suddenly take all my clothes off <laughs> just to see what I well, look like. Well, you take your own clothes off when they're out of the room. What, what do you think filming The Hobbit is? I don't know. When they're out of the fucking room. <laughs> what room? <laughs> the a... studio that's costing £43 zillion pounds a second. Hold on, everyone. I just want to see what my knob looks like with these. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've 
is the point. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just think that would have been a memory for you. I agree, I agree, but, I, you know, if you don't mind, I was busy with other memories. Okay. <laughs> I was busy making magic for the millions.